Susan wants to know, have there been any advances in imaging or screening for a recurrence? And can anything be done to help prevent a recurrence? So let me ask the, answer the first question. So, you know, we did, we have done uh, uh, clinical trials where patients got imaging, that meaning CT scans, uh, even if they don't have symptoms every four months, as opposed to the other uh, group had only scans when they got symptoms. And we looked at two outcomes. One is, are they surviving longer? Because that is, of course, our primary goal. But actually, the secondary goal was, is their quality of life better? No. Many of us knew that survival is not going to improve because we understand this disease. So it did not. The two groups do not have any difference in survival. But we were very surprised to see even the quality of life was not improved. That's because every time you have a scan, there's a lot of anxiety what you're going to say. And then if there is some ditzel somewhere that could be nothing at all, now they say, well, not sure whether it's inflammatory or metastatic. Now you have to go on biopsy. Now the biopsy can lead to some side, I mean, some complications. Or sometimes we'll say, no, we can't biopsy it. We're going to watch it closely. Now it's easy for me to say, and then I'm walk out and go and see an next patient, but you're going to carry this heavy burden in your mind and you know think about, oh my God, four months, I'm going to wait. So what if it's grown? So there's a lot of anxiety that induces that, you know, that we are not able to address. So that's why we don't do routine imaging. Uh, for all patients, but we have a very low threshold to do the uh, imaging if you have symptoms that we are concerned about. And I generally educate my patients, you know, any persistent progressive symptoms. So two piece, persistent progressive symptom, please call. Don't even wait for the next, you know, appointment and then we'll move forward from that. So as far as imaging, I can't say that we have a better tool to identify those little mats and do something better. But like I had said before in this in this uh, uh, particular uh, meeting, uh, we are now looking to see whether we can find that circulating tumor cells or circulating in tumor DNA. And if that proves out to be good, we have some late, you know, FDA approval of a test. But if it is going to impact patients' lives by, you know, doing this on a routine basis, and we think we can start the treatment earlier and impact their outcomes, you're going to have another test that we can do, which is even simpler, which is just a, uh, you know, a blood draw test. So I think we are going in that direction, and we'll know a little bit more soon. Now, your second question was, can we prevent a recurrence? So everything that we're doing, is to prevent a recurrence, right? Because if you think about it, your tumor is going to be removed by surgery, and so it's out. And you know we're going to do additional radiation, which you know, to just kind of pick those little cells if they are left. And you know, in certain circumstances, I would say in most circumstances we would do radiation. But we are also doing all these treatments that we talked about: chemotherapy, anti-estrogen therapy. We're doing it longer. We're doing anti her 2 therapy. We're trying to pick those high-risk patients who didn't respond so well, we're giving them more treatments to treat. They're all to prevent a recurrence. That's what we are doing. But the, the and we did talk about two other things as well, exercising, eating right, making sure you're not gaining weight and, and making sure you're engaged because your reduced stress and lack of increased happiness improves good, good cells in your body, less inflammation in your body. All of this will help, okay? Uh, and, and no doubt, all of this too is to help your, uh, reduce your recurrence. But the thing is, what we are not able to say to a patient is that, okay, we've done all this, 100% you're not going to have a recurrence. We don't have that level of confidence in what we do. We can say you reduced your risk of recurrence, but we can't just say you have zero chance of recurrence. That's where we still can improve and will continue to do better.